Until today, a court injunction prevented the Daily Telegraph identifying the leading businessman facing unsavoury allegations. That changed this afternoon as retail tycoon Sir Philip Green was named in the House of Lords. Former Cabinet Minister Lord Hayne using parliamentary privilege to do what he called his public duty. A powerful businessman using non-disclosure agreements and substantial payments to conceal the truth about serious and repeated sexual harassment, racist abuse and bullying, which is compulsively continuing. I feel it's my duty under parliamentary privilege to name Philip Green as the individual in question, given that the media have been subject to an injunction preventing publication of the full details of a story which is clearly in the public interest. Sir Philip hasn't been seen in public today, but issued a statement this evening categorically denying any allegations of unlawful sexual or racist behaviour. As the chairman of Arcadia Group, Sir Philip Green controlled brands like Topshop, Miss Selfridge and Dorothy Perkins. But he has not been without controversy. His sale of BHS for a pound before its collapse within a year, leaving a half a billion pound hole in its pension fund, caused MPs to brand him the unacceptable face of capitalism. In a memorable encounter, he rejected much of their criticism. Which bit of don't remember is difficult for you to listen to? Could you, sir, do you mind not looking at me like that all the time? It's really disturbing. The Court of Appeal had banned publication of allegations from five former employees because the five had signed non-disclosure agreements. An element of workplace law politicians from all parties agree is in need of urgent reform. Well, I think in this particular case, you know, Parliament has proved its worth by showing that the non-disclosure agreement is valueless. And I think that is a very good expression of how democracy can be used. The government obviously has got to now act on legal advice as to how the law can be changed and then to change it. Lord Hayne is certainly not the first and won't be the last parliamentarian to use parliamentary privilege perhaps to overturn injunctions. It's happened before. I think the fact that he's done that raises bigger questions about whether the injunction was appropriate in the first place. The Telegraph will continue to press for the injunction to be lifted now that Lord Hayne has ensured Sir Philip Green's name is firmly in the public domain. Paul Davis, News at 10.